Wayne Tebow is an American artist from Arizona. He began his career as a graphic designer and cartoonist. He then began painting everyday objects, which included many pastries. You'll see in these examples, he makes them appear more 3D and like there's actually frosting on it by putting thick layers of paint, having highlights and shadows to really play with the way the light interacts with the piece. For our project, we'll be making a gumball machine. We want it to look like the gumballs aren't just circles, but rather spheres. So instead of making them flat, we want to make them look more like a form where we add a shadow and we add a highlight. For our gumball machine project, you will need a piece of paper, a circle tracer if you're at home, maybe have a bowl to flip it over or a smaller plate. Then you'll need a smaller tracer, about maybe a water bottle cap or the lid of a glue stick or a quarter to trace for your gumballs. And then we will be using oil pastels. If you don't have them, crayons work just fine. First thing we're going to do is have our paper or our big circle towards the top of our paper and trace. And you're done with it. So now we have the main part of the gumball machine. We need a curved line on this side, curved line on this side, and a smiley face to connect them. So now it looks like a snow globe. Straight line comes down, not the whole way. Straight line comes down, but not the whole way. Smiley face once again to connect, to make it look like a cylinder. Curve line on this side, curve line on this side for the base. A nice big smiley face at the bottom. Next, we need the part where your, your quarter goes in. And the gumball comes out. You make a line, a letter U, and a line. Straight line down, straight line down. Now this next part, we can make a circle to make it look like the gumball comes out of a circle like this one, or we can make it where it looks like the flap for it to come out of. It's up to you. If you're doing a circle, go ahead, do a circle. If you want more of the flap, you can make a trapezoid. So we make a horizontal line, two diagonal, another horizontal line. Then, if you have a circle or the trapezoid, a line comes over and touch, line comes over and touch. For the part that cranks it, let's make a rectangle. Then we need the table. It would look weird if we put the table at the bottom. So we're going to scooch it up, make a line, jump over it, make a line. Now, on to the gumballs. Get your tracer, whatever you have. If I have a few floating gumballs, that's okay to start with. But that looks a little weird, having floating gumballs. I would say go halfway up or the whole way up. Then, to make it look like this gumball's behind these ones, like we have so many, I'm gonna put my gumball down. I don't draw over what I just drew, so I need to make a line stop when I hit a different gumball, and then make a line over here. So now that one looks like it's tucked behind. So I have one down here, and we just keep filling and filling and filling our gumball machine so it's halfway or the whole way filled. If you want, you could trace your gumball machine in black, like I did for my first one. Or you can just leave it whenever we go to add color. I'm going to finish adding gumballs, and then I'll show you how to add the color.
For your gumballs, we usually use oil pastels for this. If you don't have oil pastels, you can use crayons. With the oil pastels, I like to trace it, color it in, but that just looks like a red circle. So to make it look more like a real circle, we add black to one side to make it darker. And then we add white on the other to make it lighter. Now if that's too much black and too much white, I could just take my red and go back over it to blend it in. We don't use our finger to blend for this. So you do your main color, you do a little bit of black, you do a little bit of white. If you're using crayons, same thing, color it in. We're going to add some black to one side and make sure you're going with the curve of the gumball. Don't just go straight up and down. And then go ahead and use white. The white doesn't show up as well, but we can still use it and it blends it a little bit more. Oops, that's my oil pastel. And then you can put the pink or whatever color you chose back on top. All right, have fun and fill up your whole gumball machine.